So my disc feels kind of good. I'm going to cut it into a soga. First thing I need to do is I marked the center of my disc and I'm going to punch a hole in it. And like you see, this is a working environment, so there's a lot of stuff going on. I got my crumb cutter here, and I use that mainly for my uh, for my sogas. And I got this at it's about a little over seven millimeters, so that'd be a little over a quarter. That means. I can get easily two um, one eight strings out of it, and I can get three three thirty seconds, which is the size of string I mainly use for like uh, reins or uh, the body of a quarter or a head stall or whatever. I put my blade in here. This is the handiest piece of equipment here. With that little spring-loaded stuff that keeps your your disc lined up there, I put the guide rod in that little hole I made. I lift this up. I put it back there. Put on the glasses, and then I slowly want to get into my disc. And I mean slowly, because it will help me out later in the process to get a more even cut on everything. Now the first time I'm coming around, this might bulge up a little bit, but that will kind of settle out later. And now I can start pulling. Another reason why I took it at the, or set up for strings like uh, 1A, 33, 32nd, or whatever, is the thickness of this part of the hide, and I measured it before, it's about 1.4 to 1.6 millimeters. So I don't want to go bigger, like for a, a big uh, 12 plate three quarter inch bozal because that string is not thick enough out of this disc and I got some uh, that stalls to braid anyway and now it's kind of leveling out here now all I need to do is just keep pulling and this will give me a great soda to start like body work for reins and that stall and hobble. But it's amazing how quick this chrome cutter, like uh, the first year we ever did the gathering was at Clint Heverty's shop. And it was snowing. It was on a Sunday in November. It was snowing in Texas. State is shut down. And uh, Brandon Anthony was there. Pete May was there. Len Yule was there. Brent Callahan was there. Clint and me. And I don't think I'm forgetting anybody. And we were just talking, and I found a little video clip or something similar like this or at least the same principle and we talked about it and brainstormed about it sure enough a couple years later Brandon Anthony and Glenn Heverty they got this figured out and this chrome cutter works like magic I used to use a pistol grip draw gauge like this to uh, cut my uh, sogas, and I believe in the 
Raw Hack Video Library, there is a little blurb in there where I'm using it. But uh, this gives you so much more control. And it looks but it's so much nicer and so much faster. And by the end of it, you got all these lovely coasters in Raw Hack. So, if this is going to be body string, I don't uh, stretch my button strings, but I do stretch my uh, body string. And so now, and this is a little on the thin side, but if it's a little on the thicker side, I am going to soak it anywhere from six hours to overnight. So that soak is completely saturated. And then I am going to uh, stretch the soga.